please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Happy New Year again y'all, we still in January so it's still Happy New Year. I am super duper excited. Y'all know I love me a trend, y'all know I love me a TikTok trend, and y'all know I had to get in on this here trend right here. Can y'all see that? The little ring pop trend. It is so stinking adorable. Okay, so. Got all my items from the Dollar Tree. Let me show you how I did it. And then, wait to the end. Come to the end. Because we're going to talk about some money making tips. And just a couple of extra tips. So let's just hurry up and jump right into the video. Let go. Okay, y'all. Today we are going to be making the cute little ring pops. I'm so mad I couldn't find the white one of these. I'm just trying to make it as easy as possible. I'm not spray painting or none of that. Not today, at least. Maybe another day. But I got the floral foam. This is Craft Artesian. This is from the Dollar Tree. They do have these in white, but I couldn't find it. I was to several different Dollar Trees, okay? So I do have that. I have... Ooh, ooh. I have the cute little bows. These are the bows, and these are going to be the top of the ring pop. We're going to put them together like this. This is going to be the top of the ring pop. Uh, I, got all, I got all of this from the Dollar Tree. I have some dinner plates. All right, these are the dinner plates we're going to be using. And then I'm going to put this. Hopefully it could work just for the video around here because I'm not about to spray paint or anything. So just a little hat. And this is just duct tape from the Dollar Tree. And then I was lucky enough to find a pool noodle knife. I called it a poodle earlier. <laughs> a pool noodle knife. So hopefully you can cut this because this is kind of hard. If not, I grab me a little Dollar Tree knife just to see if that'll work and then i have some 3m tape that i'm going to use so these things can kind of open if you want to put something in it uh then i have my sure binders glue gun and my and my gorilla glue all right so we're gonna hope that this works we just go do this little nice little tiktok trend and see how it goes so the first thing that we're going to do is see if this will work with this pool noodle knife. We're going to see if this is going to be hard enough to cut it. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is make a little candy ring pop. And we are going to cut the top off, place this on top of here like that, okay? Really, you didn't even really need to cut it off. You really could just glue it on there like that, honestly, if you want to be honest. But we're just going to go ahead and see if this can cut so it could be a straight. Oh, and this. It's kind of cutting through because this thing is hard. I cut too much of it off, honestly. Don't be like me. This is real hard. Okay. It cut off. So what you, what you basically want is for it to be straight. Okay, so you want it to be straight so it could go flat like that on there. That's basically what you want. You want it to be straight across. So I'm actually going to try to cut a little bit more of this off. to be flat on there okay that's what you want we're gonna peel this off 
And I'm going to get this up because my vacuum is not working right now. And I ain't got time for all of these. This stuff to be on the floor. Okay, so the pool noodle knife did work. So yay to that. Before I put it on top of there, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around first. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and speed this part up. Like I said, I couldn't find the white and I didn't have any spray paint that I wanted to put on there. So I improvised and I said, hey, let me go ahead and use this tape and see if it could work. It actually is going to turn out way better than I thought it would. I wasn't thinking it would turn out so cute, but honestly, it turned out super cute. So, yeah, that's all I'm doing. I just wanted to speed this part up. But if I would have done this neat, because I didn't think it was going to look that cute. If I would have done this neat, it would have looked even better. And I just was slapping it on there. And then the middle part broke. So make sure you don't cut too much of it off like how I did. But I was able to tape it back and I could have glued it back. So that's perfectly fine. Um, like I said, this turned out so dang on cute. I did not think it was going to turn out cute. My little ghetto concoction. Okay, stop playing with me. <laughs> so once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the plate and... Once I grab the plate, you want to make sure there's going to be flush on there, okay? That's the whole point. You want it to be as straight as possible. So, a couple tips along the way. Don't cut too much of the ring off because you don't want it to break. Also, make sure it's as straight as possible because it'll be easiest to stick to the plate. Now, what I'm doing is just covering up the little green parts, even that's going to be like, even though that's going to be like the back part of it. I'm covering it up just because y'all know me. If you guys already watch me, how I like stuff to be as neat and cute as possible, even though I did this little ghetto concoction. So if you're new, typically don't be like this around here, but we making it do what it do today. Okay, so literally just taping that up and making sure there's no green showing because it looks a little tacky. So we want to make sure it's covered up. Luckily, this is like sparkly. It's shiny. And so it doesn't, like I said, look as bad. It almost look kind of foily. So it, it actually works. Now that we have that together, you want to make sure it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to go ahead and take that glue gun. I'm using Gorilla Glue and my Sure Binders glue. And we're going to just put some on there. I'm going to put it on the plate as well as on the actual foam now here's the thing if you know about glue guns they can kind of dry quick so you kind of want to do this part fast my sure binder glue gun is really thin so it's only a little bit of glue coming out versus my other one that's a little bit thicker so different projects you may want to use different glue guns because it probably i probably could have went a little faster if i used a thicker one but the thin part is going to work out for me later on so you know is you could multiple ways to skin a cat different ways that you could do things so now we're going to put a little bit more hot glue on the plate make sure it's enough on there and we're going to go ahead and place it down on there and what i did was i placed it on there i made sure that it was sticking and then you want to make sure that it's flush and that it's down. Don't press the plate too hard. I almost cracked the plate. Y'all know I'm heavy handed, heavy taped, heavy glued. I'm always doing the most with stuff. As much as I love being extra, sometimes extra, you know, you got to be careful. I almost cracked that plate. And um, yeah, so now I'm looking at it and trying to show y'all what it looks like. Look how cute that is. That actually turned out way cuter than I thought. So now what I'm doing is making sure that it's flush. Because remember, it wasn't like a straight, crisp, clear cut. So I'm going to take my glue gun in a second, right now actually. And then I'm going to fill in those holes. So here's where the thin glue gun worked. Because I just, the parts that weren't 100% connecting, I filled the spaces in with the glue. Okay, make sure it was on there good because you don't want it to tumble off or anything like that. If you're selling these, you want to make sure you are on point with these things. Like right now, I'm just showing you the tutorial, doing this like, you know, for myself. But if you're selling these things, you want to make sure because they're already used with 
cheaper products, the Dollar Tree, you want to make sure that you do your due diligence and make sure this stuff don't fall apart when you give it to the people. Okay, so make sure that you're doing high quality things, even though you're using lower quality type products. And you know what, if you want, you could go and get higher quality uh, plates or different things like that if you want to it's a hundred percent up to you so now i'm just gonna fast forward making sure that that glue is down i put a little bit more glue on there and then i let it sit so that it can attach you guys see that it's on there good and then now i'm gonna grab my bowl and just take that sticker off this is the bowl that i'm gonna use that's gonna be like the ring pop or whatever <laughs> people are so creative because this is just like too cute. Who would have thought that? Anywho, I did go ahead and grab my stand so that it can stand up because I didn't want to put pressure on the plate and the glue. So I didn't like lean it to the side because I didn't want to put pressure on the plate and the glue and then make it looser. I wanted to make sure that it's uh, adhered as nice as possible. So I just use my little stand there and then I'm going to put hot glue around the rim and in the middle because the rim is not flat so there's not a flush straight bottom the rim is a little bit raised so the rim is going to be the part that's really going to be sticking to the plate so i want to make sure that the rim as well as the middle of the circle is actually has the glue gun has the glue on there okay so it can stick to the plate i went and had to grab me some more gorilla glue and now let's go ahead and do this. I sped it up, but I showed you because a lot of times I speed things up or I may take things out and you guys ask exactly how I do it. I'm sorry I was a little out the frame there, but as you can see, I made sure it was a nice amount in the middle of the circle. And then I made sure that the edge was completely covered. Once again, my sure binder um, glue gun was great to make sure that the surface of the circle was covered because it's a little thin. But I made sure it was a lot of glue on there and it stuck really well. Now here's another tip. I want to make sure, well you want to make sure that when you're doing this that the bow is in the middle of the plate. Mine is like a really little bit over. It's not like completely noticeable where it looks horrible. But when you're doing this, especially if you're selling it, you want to make sure that it's in the middle of the bow so it can look as neat and as professional as possible. Okay, so even if you have to measure it beforehand, make a dot or something or a circle so you can know where you're going to be putting it, do that. Now we're going to go here and put the top of it on there took that sticker off of course and I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna make it how I'm gonna make it stay and where you can open it and close it and I decided to put some of my 3m glue or not glue 3m tape on the inside of mine okay so I'm going to tear a piece off and this is really good sticky tape and I'm going to place it on the back of the the candy or whatever the sucker part and so it can like a clam open up open and close okay so that's what i'm doing i'm placing it on the back so that it can open and that it can close and it stuck really well i was really surprised and it looks good because it's clear you can't really see it so that worked out good but you see how it kind of like shifts to the left and the right so i decided to put some more glue um some more tape onto the side so that it can stay i'm trying to, i'm trying to let y'all see it but you see how it like shakes and moves and wobbles i'm like nah fam that's not gonna work so i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more tape on there so it could be a little bit more secure but y'all do y'all see how cute this look i'm not even trying to be funny I didn't think it was gonna look this cute. This look like it could go, it could be like at a bridal shower, almost like a bridal shower or anything. It looks so good. I it this really surprised me. And I know I keep saying that because it's just the truth, and I'm kind of blown away. Like, wait a second. So here I am grabbing other tape, and I'm just gonna place it in inside. I was gonna fast forward it, but I said, let me not, because some people may want to see exactly step by step. So if you guys are, you know, want me to rush because some people were saying like, oh, you talk too much. I'm sorry, y'all. I talk a lot. I want to give y'all as much information as possible and as many tips and be as thorough as possible. So I'm sorry, but I'm kind of not sorry. I think my dreamers know I talk too much and I think they like it because I don't know. But anywho, <laughs> um, it got me a little self-conscious. So I'm trying not to be self-conscious about it. So, yeah. 
So put that tape in there and look how cute it is. And those extra little two pieces of tape made it perfect. It's not shaking. It's not, you know, going off. It looks so good. Y'all, I love this project. I got to go find some more because I think I want to start selling these. I didn't think I was going to sell them, but I think I do. This is the bomb. Y'all, can I be 100% honest with you? I'm not going to lie. I'm impressed with this little thing. I did not think it was going to turn out like this. I was like, oh, I, don't, I didn't spray paint it. I don't have it to wear um, all my stuff together. It's going to be all ghetto. Y'all, this looks so cute. The top of it could be over a little bit more, but I love it. It is adorable. Oh, my goodness. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. And you could put all types of stuff in the inside. You can um, put candy. You can put treats. You can put uh, lotions and uh, uh, sets and all types of stuff. But baby, this turned out so dang on cute. I'm not even going to lie. I did not think it was going to be this cute. You want me to be honest? I did not think it was going to come out this cute, y'all. I promise you. I love it. This was so simple, so cheap, so easy to make. Oh, I see why they're going crazy over it. Oh, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I am hooked. Also, you could have used a smaller plate. This was a bigger size plate, but you could use a smaller one and it will turn out cute too. You guys, do y'all see how my little ghetto rendition that is turned out? Stop playing with your girl. This turned out so super duper cute. Y'all could have cut the middle if y'all wanted like the real ring pops. Y'all could have painted it, spray painted it, got the colors, did all types of different things. But this is just how I did it for y'all today. Um, the Dollar Tree that I went to one of them only had the clear then the other one had like pink and all of that but like i said i didn't have time to spray paint different things like that but it's multiple ways to skin a cat it's multiple ways to do things you guys this is so cute it's such a money maker i'm literally about to go back out because i want to sell these now so yeah i want to sell them now because they're just so cute so fun so easy to make and they can be a money maker. You can sell these for Valentine's Day, even pro for proposals. You can sell these for birthdays, for Valentine's Day, for Christmas. You can make a Christmas one. These could be for anything, literally. Super duper cute, super duper affordable, super duper easy to make. And y'all can make some money because everything was only $125, right? So one, two, three, four, five. So I have five items. Everything was $125. So this literally took me $6.25 to make. You guys could sell them for $20, $25, profit the rest. You also can... um put things inside of them. So if they just want this, you could sell them for a good $20, right? And then you have a, a profit off that. But if you guys want to put gifts, candy, cakes, cupcakes, cookies, Valentine's Day candy, you can put body washes, body lotion, sets. You can put the little scringly pieces of paper inside of there, put gifts inside of there. The, the possibilities are literally endless, but you can sell them by themselves like this or you can put items inside of it and then up the price. It's up to you. But this right here, I'm telling y'all, New Year, we're crafting for profit. If y'all have not got y'all ticket for the crafting for profit, it is free. I'll leave it down in the description. It, so we're crafting for profit 2023 and beyond. We're trying to get these coins, trying to get this money, trying to change our lives, trying to help our families. And this right here game changer do you hear me so shout out to tiktok for always coming with the trends because this one is adorable and that's a wrap please like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions comments or concerns holla at your girl if you have not already please join our facebook group crafty queen dreamer we love it over there follow me on instagram do dream one is a handle tiktok do dream one is a handle in I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe. I do you here. Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.